Mushrooms are not plants or animals. They are their own kingdom of life, which makes them incredibly intriguing, especially for Dr. Tian Huing. There are millions, if not billions, of mushroom species. We don't really know. And of that, we only really characterise probably 10,000. And of that, we have even less that we actually know what they do. Of the millions of varieties of fungi, Dr Tian and her team have just scratched the surface, studying over 30 species and how they can be used in industry. Some of the applications that we think are amazing with fungi is its ability to break down many organic matter and even non-organic, so for instance, plastics and face masks to cigarette butts. They also produce enzymes that we use for our foods and different agricultural applications and commercial applications. But our research is really looking at their ability to replace existing products that we may not even know we need, like for instance, sound absorbing, sustainable packaging, and fire retardant or fire fighting fungi. Who would have thought fungi could fight fire? But that's exactly what the research shows that mushrooms are an incredibly effective fire retardant. They're actually produced in any container that you want. So all you need to do is put in the agricultural waste. You put a bit of fungus in there and some water and you let it go for a few days and then you can unmold it and let it grow out for a few weeks. And what you get is something like this. Dr Tien's initial plan was for these hardy, lightweight, funky blocks to replace concrete bricks. But other applications followed. Wall cladding, a bendable leather-like wall covering and even wallpaper. All materials that can be used at various stages of the build process and in critical fire ignition points in the home. So we did a comparison with normal foam cladding that we have, this one. And you can see how it's actually burning up that way and you can see it's charring. This is our mycelium where you can see a little bit of the browning on the bottom of the char but it doesn't catch for the rest of it and that's just from the smoke. It does catch but it doesn't catch as much in terms of the flame but we can actually engineer it so adding different chemicals or environments to actually encourage more of that fire fighting properties to make it more fire resistant. And what we found with ours is that when it does catch on fire, it doesn't actually produce much smoke. A lot of the fire retardant products that we use in industry are very toxic, so they have neurological impacts as well as environmental impacts. But with fungi, when they burn, they burn cleanly, which means they produce carbon dioxide and water. The results are astounding. Fires generally burn between 100 and 800 degrees. After testing the fungi products in fires at over 1,000 degrees, not only did the materials not burn, they also self-extinguished. There's many benefits. One is it's safer than what we have. Well, the main one, it will save lives. Second one is it's biodegradable, it's sustainable, it's really efficient, it's cheaper, so more economical, and I think it's a better way to go forwards.